In this video, we'll make a desert-inspired logo in Affinity Designer. Let's get started. Alright, to start off this video, let's make the main shape of our cactus that's inside of our logo. I'll come to our shapes, and I'm going to select the rounded rectangle tool, and then I'll just click and drag to create our rounded rectangle. I'm going to bring this orange node all the way in so we have maximum rounding of the corners. And then I'm just going to go over here to the color panel so I can make some adjustments. First, I'm going to remove the fill. And then for the stroke, I'm going to choose a green color. Then I'll go to the stroke panel and I'll increase the width. This width will be the width that we use throughout the entire logo, so make sure you like the size of it. All right, there we go. So now we have the base of our logo. I'm just going to grab the move tool and make sure this is nice and centered in our document. Then I want to break the curve on the bottom just to remove this part. And to do that, I need to convert our shape to curves. So I'll click right up here. Okay, with that done, I'm going to select this node on the bottom. And then I'll go up to the context toolbar, and I'm going to select this action, which will break our curve. Now our curve is broken right here, you can see that. So I'm just going to delete this node, and I'll delete this other node. Now that we have this flat base, we can continue to make a few features of our cactus. So I'm going to go over here and select the rounded rectangle once again. And then I'll just click and drag out another rounded rectangle. This time I'll make it slightly smaller. I'll also bring the corner in like this. All right, and then we're going to use this to create the arm of our cactus. I'm going to convert it to curves. So now we have all of these different nodes we can use to adjust this to create a curved arm for our cactus. To start, I'm going to break the curve the same way that we did for our last one. So select the bottom node, select break curve, and then go ahead and delete that node. And I'll delete this other one as well. All right, then I'm going to go to about the midpoint of our cactus and I'm going to add a node right there. And I'll add another node right here. I'll select both of these nodes and I'm going to turn them into a smooth node. Then I'm just going to grab these bottom nodes and I'm going to connect them to our cactus. Then we can pull on this handle right here to bring this arm down. Now, right now, this arm looks very large. I think I want this to be a bit smaller. So first, I'm just going to grab the Move tool, and I'm going to shrink this down until it's about the size that I want. Then I'll grab the Node tool again, and we can continue to adjust these points. I think this one needs to be brought down just a little. Maybe this one should be brought up. The width between these two nodes should be about equal to these other nodes right here. So just keep an eye on that. Okay, I think I like this, but I want it to be a little bit closer to our cactus, so I'll just move it in like this. Then using the node tool, I'm just going to move in here, and I'm going to bring these points so they snap to the edge again. Once you like the size and the placement of this arm, we can go ahead and duplicate it for the other side. I'm going to grab the move tool, and with this arm selected, I'm going to hold down command or control on my keyboard, and then I'll click and drag to duplicate this arm. I'll go to the top and flip it horizontally, and now we have two arms for our cactus. I'm just going to make some size adjustments here and adjust how they're positioned. I think I'll shrink them down a little bit more. Okay, I think at this point I like how my cactus looks. I'm just going to select all of the layers in the Layers panel by holding Shift and clicking on the last one, and then I'll make sure that this is still centered in our document. Okay, now that we have the main shape of our cactus, I'm just going to add a few detail lines using the pen tool. So I'll grab the pen tool, and to start, I'm going to click right here in the center of our cactus, and then I'll hold shift and click right here at the bottom. Then I'll press escape to end my line. This is our first detail line. I'm going to add one more here and here. So I'm going to try to guess where the center point between these two lines are, I'll click, and then I'll hold shift and click right here at the bottom. 
It looks like I didn't guess quite right, so I'm going to grab the move tool, and I'll just use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move this closer to that center line. I think that looks a lot better. Alright, I'm just going to duplicate this line now by holding Command or Control and Shift, and then I'll move it over. I think these lines need to be slightly taller, just so you can't see where they're curving like that. We want it to look like a solid line all the way up, so I'm just going to adjust that. Okay, these first lines are done. That was sort of the easy part. Let's grab the pen tool again and try to add lines to these curved lines. For this one, I'm just going to go to the center point of this one. And then I'm going to go to the center point between these two points, and I'll lay down a point. As you can see, we have a straight line, but we can make this curved by using the Node tool. I'm just going to click and drag to create a curved line like this, and then we can adjust the handles right here to make it look more like it matches the curve of the existing lines. I think that actually looks pretty good, so I'm going to repeat this, adding a line right here and right here. But to make sure that these are curved the same amount, I'm actually going to duplicate the line that we already have. So I'll hold Command or Control, and then I'll click and drag. And then I'll do it again, Command or Control, and I'll click and drag. Then using the Node tool, I'm just going to adjust these points so that they're lined up very nicely right in between these two lines. And I think I'll need to drag out these nodes a little bit, just to make sure that this is nice and smooth. I'll do the same for this line right here. I'll drag it in. And then I'll adjust these handles. For this one, I'll bring this in, and make sure this is still nice and straight. Okay, that looks pretty nice! We just need to do this one last time for this cactus over here. I know using the pen tool can be a little bit tricky, but I actually have an entire course that you can check out all about using the pen tool. The course is called Affinity Designer Beyond the Basics, and it's full of a bunch of amazing projects that you can do to practice your pen tool skills and really refine them. I'll leave a link to that course in the video description so you can check that out. Now that I've finished with all of those lines, I think I want to expand the width of this part of the cactus's arm, just to make these lines look not so bunched up together. And to do that, I'm first going to select the outer shape, and then I'll drag this node downward. There we go. And then I'm just going to do that for the next couple of lines, just to space them out better. Okay, I think that looks better. I'll just do that for the other side as well. Okay, our cactus looks really good. Now that that's done, we're going to add in a few more details and some text to finish off this logo. First, I'm going to grab the ellipse tool, and I'm going to click and drag while holding shift to make a perfect circle. Now for this circle, I want it to align right at the bottom of the cactus, but I want the cactus to sort of poke out of the top, so I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. And I'll align it like that. Because of how I want the cactus to come out of the circle like that, I'm going to convert the circle to curves. Then I'm going to add a node right here by clicking on this line, and I'll add another one right over here. Then I'm going to select this center node and I'll break it, and then I can just delete these two nodes. I also want to make sure that these lines are all lined up with our circle, so I'll just click them, and while holding shift to keep them nice and in line with our cactus, I'll just drag them downward. Okay, next, I think I want to make a few hills in the background of our cactus, and I'll use the pen tool to do that. So starting over here, I'll click right here on the edge of the circle, and then I'll click and drag to create a hill like this. I'll press escape, and I'll do that one more time to this other side. I'll click right here, and then I'll click and drag to the outside. 
Then I'll press escape, and I'm just going to grab the node tool to make sure that these lines are lined up nicely. So this one needs to be moved in, and so does this one. And that one looks good. Okay, we're ready to add our text. I want this text to curve around the circle right along the bottom like this. So to do this, I'm actually going to grab the move tool and I'm going to select this circle and then I'll duplicate it with command or control J. So now we have a duplicate copy of our circle and we can use this to curve our text around the edge. I'll grab the artistic text tool and then I'll click right here and I'll begin to add our text. So our text is going to say southwestern spelled that wrong, there we go, <laughs> landscaping. All right, now that we have that, I'm just going to highlight all of this text, and then I'm going to change the font right up here. You can choose any font that you want, it really doesn't matter, but I'm going to go with this one. There we go. And then I'm going to increase the size of our text. I also want this text to be the same color as our cactus, so I'm going to grab the fill color, and then I'm going to click right here. This is the same green that we used for our cactus, so I'll just select that and apply it. Okay, now I'm just going to click on this green triangle right here, and I'm going to move this so that the text is more centered like that. There we go. And then I'm going to increase the size of the text using this handle right here. I'll just expand that like that. And then I can move this whole text area to make it line up with our circle better. So you can see what that looks like. All right, there we have it. This logo looks very classy and professional. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.